This is the Sunday Business Page with John Delano. Good morning, I'm John Delano. Welcome to another home edition of the Sunday Business Page. Our special guest today is John Thornton, CEO of Astrobotic. John, welcome to the show. Good to be with you today. Thanks for having me, John. Appreciate it. And congratulations. You have just received a $199.5 million contract with NASA to fly something to the moon from Pittsburgh. What's that all about? <laughs> That's right. Thank you. Uh, we, we are so excited to be a part of a very historic mission for NASA. Uh, NASA has asked us to send a 350 kilogram rover to the pole of the moon that will then uh, subsequently drill for water. And if we can find water at the pole of the moon, we could potentially turn that into rocket fuel. Uh, so this could literally be the beginning of, of a, an era where the moon is becoming a, a refueling station uh, to go back and forth from the moon and maybe even deep uh, to go deeper into space. Well, this is all really very exciting, but I think people are going to be surprised to know that Pittsburgh plays an important role in the, this. So tell us about Astrobotic. You're based right here in Pittsburgh. That's right. We have a new facility coming online in Manchester, right in the north side. Uh, and that's our the head of our, our operations all occur right there. That's where we're going to be building up our lunar lander. Um, we're also going to be operating the landers on the surface of the moon from mission control right there in the north side. Uh, and it's going to be incredibly exciting to get real-time photos and imagery coming back from the surface of the moon right here in Pittsburgh. So you're not building rocket ships here in Pittsburgh. You're building landers. I think that's what you call them. What's this all about? How does that work? That's right. So what we do is we provide an end-to-end -end service. So a customer comes to us who wants to send, uh, in this case, a rover to the surface of the moon. What we then do is we go out and book a ride to go to space on a, a commercial launch vehicle. That gets us to space. And then our, our job from the building side is we build a lander, a, a spacecraft to go on top of that launch uh, that takes the, the customer payload out to the moon, orbits the moon, descends down to the surface, in this case deploys uh, the payload so that the rover can drive out and, and go accomplish its mission. Do you actually control the rover once it gets to the moon? Will you be, you know, exercising where this rover goes on the moon and how it drills for and looks for water? So for this contract, our end-to-end -end service stops once the, the rover is delivered on the surface. And then from there, NASA, as the customer uh, who, who is developing this rover, will then drive the rover across the surface. Uh, and it's exceptionally challenging at the poles of the moon because you have low glancing sun angles with very long shadows. And the sun is key uh, for solar power. And also the shadows get down to cryogenic cold. So in order to keep the rover alive, we have to dodge the shadows at, at, as we're driving around. So it'll be really challenging and exciting uh, to watch NASA drive this rover on the surface of the moon. Now this particular exploration and launch is 2023, but if I recall correctly, John, Astrobotic is going to have its first launch next year. Can you tell us about that? That's right. Our first mission is flying next year. It's on a, a smaller lander that we call Peregrine. Uh, and that can take a, a whole array of payloads that's flying on this first mission, uh, including one from Carnegie Mellon. Uh, they're going to be landing the first uh, rover on the surface moon that any university has ever done. Um, so a big historic uh, first again for Pittsburgh. So that mission will fly uh, next year. Uh, and then the following year, we actually have a, another rover that will be sent on another provider's lander. Uh, and then in 2023, uh, this big one that we just announced, the big Viper rover from NASA, will be uh, sent to the surface of the moon. Uh, final question, John. Does this mean more jobs here in Pittsburgh? It does. We have 74 employees today, and, and with this new big win, this will take us well over 100. Well, congratulations to John Thornton and Astrobotic for all the work you're doing right here in Pittsburgh. This is really exciting. I can't wait to watch all this coming up. Thank you again for being with us. And Thanks thank for having you. us, John. And thank you for watching the Sunday Business Page. If you have a suggestion for a guest, get in touch with me at jdelano at kdka.com. Have a great Sunday, everybody.